Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot T-E-E. -E. If you like what you see, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Hit the bell, okay? If you want to be here every time me and the T-Team are here, getting it in. Um, we are going to do freestyle channel messages today, okay? Yeah, we're going to just do some freestyle channel messages. And we're just going to see what we see, okay? And where spirit leads us. Um, and what do we have going on out there in the collective, okay? Um, period. Okay, let me get out. Let me get out the right card, y'all. Because I know sometimes I get started and spirit will just put it on me like, no, nah, that's, that's not the cards, okay? So, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, we did have this card fall out, the bear, Okay. Okay, what we got going on? We're going to do these channel messages. Um, the ship, okay. The stork, oh, okay now. The stork. The child, okay. And we see the ring. Uh, this is a masculine that is coming in from the storm. This is a masculine that is coming back from child. Listen. This man is washed up. What what the old folks say? Rolled hard and hung up with. <laughs> this is a man that went out on a journey. I don't know if anybody reads the books. Books by the Arthur J. California Cooper. Shout out to J. California Cooper. I'm not sure if she's if she's still around. I don't really know. But she wrote some amazing books that were like Southern, um, you know, just Southern stories for those of us who had Southern um you know, were raised by Southern family members like myself. Um, and she would just tell some kind of down home Southern stories. If you had Southern relatives, you know, you used to hear it, hear it coming up. You heard a lot. Well, anyway, um, she, she wrote a story that talked about this masculine that felt that he was with a woman. And this is the energy that's coming to me. That's why I'm telling y'all this story. He was with a woman, right? And uh, she's a small town girl. She's a country girl. And he started to feel that he could, you know, he could do better. He was a little country guy, but he thought he could run off to the pretty city, as J. California Cooper kept putting it, and basically, you know, get a hot girl and live a hot life. And he ran out there with his little slow country ass, and some women took his money. I think he got beat up. He caught an STD, and he had to just run back to <laughs> the little country lady that he was with because he had to face the fact that he was not even remotely cut out, Okay for uh the lifestyle that he was trying to portray okay it was like bruh you're not that guy okay and that's the energy that i'm getting here this is a man that's coming back um from the storm we see the bear here he's soaking wet he got a fish in his mouth his eyes look tired and toe up and he is coming back and he's gonna make an offering to you when he returns okay we see the bear the ship we see the stork the child in the ring this man is gonna come back and he's gonna feel so guilty about um <coughs> running out in the storm that he is gonna come back and just be like please take me back in this man comes back he is wrung out toe up toe off and he's just hoping, like, please, please, please let me back in the house, Shante. Okay, he's in that type of energy. Um, you know, he listened. He's been out here wilding, okay? Um, this is concerning for you, however. We see message of concern. <coughs> this is a, one that is concerning for you. Mm. Okay, and you're kind of like, you know, things may have changed. Okay, you recognize once you see him like, oh, he's coming back to marry me. Okay, you recognize this right off the right out the gate. We see the marriage energy coming through. So you're no fool. You're like, oh, okay, he's coming back for to marry me. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay, you caught that tea. Um, this man is coming back and he's coming back to marry you now. Um, this man may have been in a situation, uh, pri prior, okay, to what was going on with him where he was not interested in locking you down. However, now he is, okay? This man is like, ah, I'm going to lock you down now, Shante. Okay, he's in that type of energy. He comes back with some money in his hand, though. And this is a surprise to you because at the moment that this man brings money into your life, <clears throat> excuse me, you actually needed some money. Okay. You actually knew like, damn, I needed some money. That's what's up. Okay. You needed some money. Um, okay. You're in a more mature space now than when he left. We see mature woman. You're really not the same woman. 
that you were when he ran off into the night thinking that he was going to be all that. And your expectations have gone up. You are looking for someone that's in night energy now. This man would have to be gallant. He would have to be um, somebody that operates in valor, honor, um, self-respect. Okay, you're looking for, you're not looking for him to be fake or false or any of that. You're going to tell him like, um, if you want to get over here with me, you're going to have to give me a reason to open up and marry you. I have not just been sitting around waiting for you to marry me, sir. Okay, you're going to let him know that. Um, you've also had some financial alignment come through your life since the last time you've seen him. You've also had more lovers since you've seen him, okay? You're not uh, as inexperienced as you were. And you've had other relationships with other masculines that have brought you into um, change, okay? We see change energy. And that is the message that you really need him to understand. It's like, well, I'm not that little girl that you left, okay? No matter how old you were when he left, you were a lot less mature when he left, okay? So you have moved into another direction. We see transportation. You have moved into another direction in yourself and in your life. You have really matured. The outcome for this, okay, it was written, so things will occur. There will be some divine intervention in this relationship and in this situation, that you may not be aware of, okay? Um, somebody has been praying about this. There is somebody on this man's side that has been praying that he realigns himself with a feminist that's not going to keep him in maybe sickness and financial ruin. That's what he was dealing with, okay? Somebody's been praying for that. This man has also been wanting a child with you and wanting to be the main man in your life for quite some time. And he's going to be willing to pray to you to take him back in. He's also more mature than when you remember him, okay? So this relationship, okay, comes in with a lot of motion. We saw ships up here. We saw travel. I mean, what do we see? Transportation. We also saw, yeah, we saw transportation. Um, we've seen the ship. We've seen a lot of messages of concern come in. This is a relationship where you two, neither one of you are the same as when you left, but you have both arrived at a place of maturity. So you guys are better mate for each other now. Okay. Prior to this, you may have been somebody that thought you were going to be alone and you may have been a little more desperate to be in a relationship with him. That has all changed. You were afraid of being an orphan in a sense. Okay. That has all changed. Okay, you guys are both in the same energy right now, male, female energy. Okay. And in that, y'all are both very fortunate to be together and have one another. Um, and, and that's kind of what we're going to, what we see here. Um, again, we see biblical energy. It was written. It is totally up to you whether or not you move forward with this man who has come back from his journey out into, uh, <laughs> out into, party city or wherever this fool thought he was supposed to be okay it's up to you whether or not you keep him okay it's, it's like you know people you know return from their little adventures maybe you want him in your life maybe you don't okay but it is up to you okay so that's what we saw there this masculine does return and there are things that you're gonna have to decide from that point okay and I just do these channel messages because, you know, give everybody a chance to kind of, you know, catch how many, you know, energies we may catch that may get a chance to just get even a slight bit of wisdom. I do channel manage messages like these that are like, you know, we just keep going anonymous more for that reason. You know, because sometimes people just need a nugget. OK, it's happened to me. Somebody just you know, you're looking at a reading and somebody says just the right little quick thing. And it's like, oh, that is, yes, that is just what I needed. So that's why we stick in channel messages. Somebody is feeling blocked right now, Eight of Swords energy. Okay. And it is love related, Six of Cups. This may be an old love, a childhood love, okay? And y'all are now lovers again. Y'all are back in a physical relationship. You're back in a physical relationship with a childhood love. And some shit has happened that just blew everything up, the tower energy, okay? So, okay, we have some cards fall out. We want to know what happened, okay? This man was your world in one particular time or this feminine was your world in one particular time. I got to start. I, you know what? I need to, okay, no, I'll get back to that another time because I'm like, I need to start making some readings for my male viewers. I don't know. I have to, I have to look into that. Okay, uh, justice card that are more geared towards male viewers. Um, justice card energy because I know they're out there. Shout out to y'all. Hey, hey, boo, if you watching, okay? Hey, justice card energy. Okay, this man came back into your life and there was a surrounding 
idea that things were going to go great, that things were going to balance out. This is what you thought. And I'm sure you thought it because we saw Six of Cups energy. So you've been knowing this man for a long time. So you figured, okay, we're about to make it happen. Yes, finally, me and Greg are finna do this thing the right way. Um, However, there was a betrayal that happened, okay? You was on one wave and Greg was on another. Greg was still in his King of Wands energy where he wanted to be out here tossing booty butt around with this one and that one. Um, yes, there was, again, here we go, came right through Three of Pentacles. There were some other people that this masculine was still engaged with in terms of conversation, and that hurt you. It also pushed you away. It also helped you to lose a certain deal of respect for our good buddy Greg. He was kind of like, oh, are you still like this? <laughs> Oh, wow. And this is where you kind of fell back and the discord and chaos fell into y'all's relationship. However, you guys do still have a familial bond. You guys do still have love for one another, but you have walked out. Okay, Eight of Cups. You have walked out on him. Um, you've walked out on the bullshit. You're like, I'm not finna watch this. Okay, you have watched out, walked out on that. And now you are really thinking. You're doing some thinking, Seven of Cups, Feminine. You're doing some thinking. You're doing some holding back of your energy, okay? Church bells ring when the judgment car comes through the building, okay? You are feeling like, you know, I need to make a, a hard decision about this because I don't know. Um, however, be advised, you two actually do have soulmate energy, okay? Um, this man is still very immature, okay? We've seen a lot of immature men on the board. Um, and that, in his immaturity... Um, is the reason that you walked out and your soulmate energy with him is the reason that you're, you're, you know, you guys tend to gravitate back toward, towards each other. It's the reason that the connection or the friendship that y'all have sustains the hangman. Okay. Because this man recognizes you for who you are. And truthfully, this man does think of marrying you for a wise energy. Okay. You might think that's something that he's never thought of because he's so childish, but that's a lie. He has thought of marrying you. Queen of Pentacles, and giving you everything you've asked for, okay? But we see this tower energy coming back through. This man is no divine masculine. He has not gotten to that place yet, okay? He has not gotten to that place yet. Um, and that's the reason why he continues to run, you know, just kind of to will of fortune energy into Knight of Swords. He continues to kind of be a little problematic and run the streets. Um, that's what he knows to do. So in that, this masculine is a burden for you. And right now is a great time to just cut him the hell off, two of swords, and focus on other things, eight of pentacles, okay? Because heartbreak waits on the other side of this because he's not ready. But even though he's not ready, don't be hard on yourself and feel like you're just entertaining karmics. No, you do have a real connection with this man because y'all's relationship starts from when you were young. You do have a real relationship, a real bond, a real two of cups, four of wands, soulmate, twin flame-ish connection to this man. That's very real. It's just that the man, look at this, seven of swords with the lovers. We cut the day. This man is not ready to commit to anyone. If he is in a relationship with someone, he's not committed to them either. And you're not going to allow yourself to be mistreated and placed in three of swords energy. You see that this man is not ready. Three, seven of swords to lovers. So you got out of his way. Shout out to you. Okay. And if you have not already got out of this man's way, if there, if this is a masculine and this really resonates with you and you recognize that he's not ready, um, you probably should go ahead and get out the way because nothing's on the other side of that. Okay. But a three of swords energy because he's not going to behave. He knows he should behave. He may talk to you about behaving. And of course he talks to you about behaving. He knows he should. He knows you're the one. He feels the same soulmate energy that you feel, but He's not ready, okay? He still wants to run around in the street and and um you know waste 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 his life really. He's still in that in that space. I don't care how old he is, he's still in that phase of life, okay? So just just go ahead and you know, you know, you know, you you the type of woman you got other things you could be doing. Um, you don't have to sit around and wait on somebody that's stuck in some bullshit. Okay, we cut the deck here. On the Six of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords, okay? Somebody has been giving and giving and giving and giving and they just ready to quit. Like, I'm not I'm, I'm not giving anymore. Somebody is, is done being the designated giver in a particular situation, okay? Done, done, okay? Somebody is done being the, the go-to, okay? For somebody that is needy, 
okay? This is a feminine that is needy. This is a feminine that is draining someone. Nine of Pentacles that is always asking for handouts so that she can maintain a certain position, okay? She's only concerned with her own fulfillment. Nine of Cups. She's only concerned with her own fulfillment. This feminine, okay? The hangman. We split on the hangman. She will only be concerned about her own fulfillment. Very selfish. Very selfish. Okay? Very selfish. Okay? This hangman is sticking around. She's very selfish. You know, whoever this selfish feminine is, somebody is draining somebody's energy or finances for their own personal gain. They're very entitled. You see the five of pentacles and the hangman. This person thinks that their tragedy is your problem, okay? Whatever has happened with them, they are hanging on you. They're saying, but I've got a situation. You've got to help me. This person is very selfish, okay? They're very selfish, Okay? And when you pull back your energy for them four pentacles, they're actually going to be destroyed by it. They're going to go into five of cups energy. They're going to be sitting back crying because, oh my God, they don't want to continue to support my bullshit. <laughs> they're going to be upset. No, seriously. They're going to be upset. Okay. They're going to be upset. They're going to be hurting. Okay. Because they wanted you to do it forever. Um, King of Wands in reverse. Okay. With the four of wands. Um, this person is going to be completely disenfranchised when you remove your energy from the situation and they're going to become a bit of an enemy. They're going to become someone that, not an enemy, they're going to remove their energy. It's like they're going to give up. Um, this person really was being manipulative, obviously, right? Users and, um, users and, uh, <laughs> uh, mooches usually are manipulators, right? Okay, page of wands with the six of wands. Okay, so the message in all of this um, is that you will come out victorious in this situation. Victorious when you extract your energy, when you stop being the go-to for this person. Look at this, king of wands in reverse, ace of wands in reverse. When you disenfranchise this person, you get a new beginning, okay? That's the bottom line. When you're willing to disenfranchise this person, a new beginning comes through to your life. Um, when you're willing to say, hey, I'm not the person you should call for the bullshit. Okay, we see Ace of Swords. I mean, I'm sorry, Ace of Wands and King of Swords. Um, and what that tells us is what I just said, which is that it is time for you to get a new beginning and become a lot colder and a lot more aloof to this particular person. And also realize that once you step into this new beginning where you dis disenfranchise this person, they are going to become a, a lot colder and a lot more aloof towards you. So, um, and the results of that coldness and aloofness, because you two are going to distance yourselves from one another. This person is going to be so upset. You know, I've dated someone like that before that thought they were going to get over on me. And then when they couldn't, it was just like, they were just devastated. Like they were putting sad messages, trying to manipulate with sad messages on their social media. Like, you know, when, when a woman give up on you, you know, I'm saying, uh, shut up. Okay, the King of Swords and the Hierophant. This person may try to double back and offer you a new version of commitment. They might double back and say, hey, you know, how about we try it this way then? You don't have to do this for me. You can do that for me. This person may actually try to offer you another karmic um, arrangement. Okay, that's how pathetic they are. Um, okay, this person will ask for less this time. They will say that, well, based on what's going on in my life right now, can you just give me this? We see the page of pentacles. Okay, they lower the same bull crap uh, offering and arrangement. They try to change it and make it seem like, well, how about you just do it this way? Okay. Six of swords and judgment. Okay. Y'all know I got to ring my church bell when we see that judgment card. Six of Swords in Judgment. This person is transitioning out of your life because you've already passed judgment on them. Um, they may try to pass judgment on you back. Okay? You know the whole flying monkeys thing. They want to go talk shit. Um, the results of the shit they're talking though. Okay? We see Temperance. 
and we see the sun. Um, the shit this person is talking, you know, so much of who they are has come out in the open. You've exposed them. You kind of shine the light on them, shine a the light on them. Okay. You shine a light on this person. You've exposed them. They will have to do things the right way and compromise or get the hell away from you. Um, and the end result of that. Look, we see this again. The end result of that, we see this five of pentacles and this four of wands. This person takes their crap, their bullshit, and you're left in a positive position. They're just going to run off. Okay, they realize they have to go find somebody else to fuck over. Um, and that's the bottom line. They're going to have to move their, oh my God, <laughs> movement to someone else. Okay, because you are no one's fool. Okay, that's just the bottom line. Okay, you just seen them for who they is. Yes, I did say for who they is. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what that what happened. You saw them for who they is, and then life goes on. Yeah. Okay. People act like nobody ever gonna see through their ugliness and feel flying flying, and that's not the truth. Okay. It's just not the truth. All right. Um. So yeah, we just we just gonna keep moving. Channel messages. Okay. Um. You know. Let's see what's out there. What y'all be getting y'all selves into? Okay. I don't want to be contacted right now. I wish to be left alone. Somebody's man <coughs> is pouting. <clears throat> Amen. Somebody's man is pouting. I don't even want to talk to you right now. I am finally seeing my worth, yet I still feel unworthy of your love. Okay. This person, this masculine, has just realized what you mean to them. I want to make sure I can see. Let me get that light off it. Okay. This masculine has just realized what y'all mean. Can y'all still see me? Hold on. I don't want to make it too. This masculine has just realized um, what they mean to you. Okay. However, in them realizing what they mean to you, um, they still don't feel like they mean very much to themselves. There's some self-esteem issues here. No one else makes me feel the way you do, but I'll take it to the grave before I tell you. This is a man that is filled with foolish pride, okay? It's very foolish pride, okay? And he's allowing his pride to uh, basically ruin what could potentially be a really uh, great relationship, okay? That's just the bottom line. This man is, uh, he's bitter, he's spoiled. Some other woman has spoiled him, and now he thinks he doesn't have to do the work to be with a real woman, okay? that's that's He's very spoiled. Um, Any type of man is in that much pride where he can't just simply say, hey, I love you, and this is what I'm willing to do and what I'm not willing to do, um, or whatever his, you know, be a man and speak up. This man has been spoiled, possibly, possibly by mothers, grandmothers, other relationships, and he just isn't able to man up and do the right thing. Rejecting you was protecting myself. I was being selfish. I just said this man is very prideful. Okay, so he's sitting over there not talking to you because he's being selfish. It's that simple. And he's, he's holding back. The fact of the truth of the matter is the man really does want you. And the man really will do whatever it is you're asking him to do. That's the truth. Okay? But he's spoiled and he's childish and he's selfish and he's prideful. And he doesn't want to admit that. He doesn't want to admit the truth. Okay? He doesn't want to be real about it. Childish. Okay. I am seeing someone, but I am not ready for you to know about them yet. So this man has engaged himself uh, potentially in another relationship in order to not deal with his feelings for you. We just saw all this shit. The man is feeling for you. Now five minutes later, he's with someone else. So he's out here wasting someone else's time. Um, this is a situation, you know, the type of man that He's having sex with a woman that he knows full well he doesn't want because he wants to forget about you. He's thinking that that's going to solve it. I have things going on in my life right now that require my full attention. So he's trying to submerge himself into a situation with, you know, some woman that he might not even know that well. Okay. I feel cold and detached from this connection. This man is very upset with you. I cannot feel my emotions right now. He's upset. And he is trying to, he's upset because you put some type of boundaries on him is what I'm hearing. 
okay? And he's trying to just sit off to the side with, with whoever the hell to feel better about himself. I don't feel guilty for how I treated you. My ego is too big to care. What I say, <coughs> what I say, we're seeing it. We're seeing it. This man is caught up in pride and his pride is going to be the death of him. What I'm hearing right now, because we see the death card come through right now. What I'm hearing right now, do y'all know what I'm hearing? Y'all know that Kendrick Lamar, Lamar song? Love's gonna get you killed, but pride's gonna be the death of you and you. You know, whatever. That's what's playing for me with him, okay? What is that about Kendrick Lamar? Is that pride? I think the name of that is pride. Pride, okay? This man is, is caught up in, in not only pride, he's caught up in foolish, very foolish pride. This man is very foolish. Um, he's being very foolish right now. And it's going to be the death of him. Okay? His pride. Okay? You are the empress. You are an empress energy. And, and that's just on, on fairy ad. Okay? You are an empress energy. You are a woman that... Um, this man actually manifested you back into his life. Or into his life. Okay, and now he's scared as hell because he got an empress on his hands, okay? Um, we're seeing Queen of Wands energy from you. You are not afraid to speak up. Um, you are not afraid to be the matriarch, to be the mother. You're very serious in terms of how you love. Like, you come in and you bring it all. You give it all. You're not playing no games, okay? I'm going through a roller co coaster of emotions, but I won't admit it. And the fact that you came in with this confidence and this fire energy, okay, and that you were willing um, to, you know, put it all on the line for this man. This is the reason why he's now sitting back there going through a roller coaster of emotions that he want to pretend he's not going through because he's scared. I have many regrets that keep me from moving forward. Um, this man regrets the way he's treated you thus far. And now he knows that he would have to man up. And he's, he's y'all see, I mean, a coward. Okay. This man would devour you if given the chance. He wants to dominate you. He wants to dominate you. He wants you to do what he tells you to do. He don't want to have to deal with all these emotions and feelings and this and then. And oh, my God. Ah. He doesn't want to be forced to deal with that. And I'm going to tell you, he doesn't want to be forced to deal with it. Because he would obey you. See, emotionally, this man is submissive to you. That's what he doesn't want you to see. When you tell him what to do, Queen of Wands, very dominant. When you tell this man what to do, low key, this man wants to do it. That's what he's ashamed of. If you tell him, you may be a little bossy. And this man likes being bossed around by you anyway. Okay, he's okay with it. But he doesn't want you to know that. He wants to dominate you. Okay, he doesn't want to have to face the fact that when you tell him he needs to do right and know right from wrong, he, he actually... Be like, okay, he don't want you to know that. My focus is on my life. I can't be bothered to worry about you. So he's upset. He's mad at you. And he's telling himself he doesn't need you right now. There's a big hole in my heart that I cannot fill on my own. But this man is hurting. He's a five of cups energy without you. Um, true T. Okay. He is a five of cups energy without you. Something you said, your words cut this man because you put him in his place, King of Pentacles. You told him, like, I don't know who you think you are or what you think you got going on, but you, you ain't no King of Pentacles to me, okay? So this man has taken his one little pentacle that he had left and crawled away because his ego is bruised. Queen of Pentacles, however, you two are still coming up as a match, obviously, King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles, okay? And the lovers. So there is still love here. This relationship, this bond, I'm just here to tell you, is actually not even over, Okay? It's just not. That's what we see in the cards. Don't blame me. King of Cups coming up at the bottom of the deck. This man has a great deal of love for you. Um, again, he's very emotional about you. He's just not ready to let you see it and admit it. This man is going to take action to try to right things and put things back into a just space. You two will be back in a lover's energy. Keep in mind, this is the second version of the lover's deck in this, in this reading. And what we see with this version of the lovers is they have grown up. They have matured. Um... They're in a better space. It happens after this man. We see Knight of Cups uh, riding him backwards, a little drunk. It happens after this man goes down and has to admit that he's in love with you. And by go down, I mean, I don't know if everybody's ever experienced this. I've actually experienced this one for myself, but I'm sure some people have. 
sometimes falling in love is, you know, it feels like a defeat, okay? And he has to go through that defeat. This man has to go out with his friends a few times, date a few other women, get drunk, get stressed out, tell his friends, and they tell him, like, man, you need to just admit it, Mike. You understand? You in love with Denise. Go on, admit it. Go on, admit it, Tony. You in love with Crystal. How many times we gonna go through this? Listen, that Quavion, go on, admit it. You in love with La Shantiaka. Okay? We not finna do it. We not finna do it, Brad. You're in love with Christy. Okay? Let's just, let's just get real. Let's just get real. Quam. Okay? You know damn well you in love with Justine. Okay? So some people out, this is about him getting real. And him getting real kind of comes with him getting sick. I don't know if y'all ever seen that. Some people get sick when they when they realize they're in love. Like I'm so serious. They may get like, you, they take to the bed for a couple of days. He's one of those. So he has to go through that. I have lost faith in you and cannot see a future with you anymore. Okay? This is a space that this man wants to be in. <laughs> I'm so serious. But we see right here with this drunken knight of cups. That's, the, that's what he's going to have to go through, that transition, okay? My mask keeps me safe. I need to fake my feelings. What did I just say? This man has to stay in that space of pretending. So he's going to have to kind of like fall off and go down so he can realize and recognize what's true. It's just like, you can't ignore these feelings, son. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and admit what's tea. You're, not, you're having no luck hiding this. I feel abandoned by you and it is triggering my childhood traumas. Okay. Yeah, so this man got to go through some shit. Look at him crying. King of Cups. Crying his heart out. This man got to go through some shit and fall, you know, go down to the ground, fall off, feel salty, feel stupid. Um, go whining to his friends, telling his mama, you know, I, just, I don't know. <laughs> he got to go through all of that before he just admits it. I'm in love with, with you and, you know, I can't even fake it. We pulled the lover's card right out the gate. Transportation. This man has to go through a shift and, and admit some things to himself. So, you you know, just go ahead. Live your life. Let him go. He got to go on over. He got to get sick first. <coughs> he got to cry. <clears throat> he got to curse about how you, you ruined his life and you a bitch to his uncles. You know, they try, <clears throat> they try that. I don't care nothing about her. She, she mean, bro. She cruel. He got to do all of that. <clears throat> she used to have seen her. She went off on me. I didn't even know she had that in her. He got to do all of that before he just faces facts. Okay? I'm in love with her. So, nobody got time to wait on that, though. Keep living your life. He'll, he'll be back. He'll be back when he needs to go ahead and admit the truth. Okay? You know, love. Love is, is rough, man. <laughs> what is this love thing all about, okay? Martin say that on one of his episodes. Love is rough, okay? It's, it's hard for her. It can be. You know, we all want to think it's easy and you just grinning and skinning. I had a, a, a fellow sister tarot reader tell me that today. Um, we all want to sit back and believe that love is is, <clears throat> is great and grand, and, but it's not. It's not, okay? It's not. It's, it's, uh, it's real shit going on, okay? And this love game, sometimes it's some things that have to, you know, people have to go through before they really realize, you know, who they're supposed to be with or really just admit, you know, you, you're weak for this person, okay? And that's what's going on with that masculine that I'm really getting. He wants to maintain his strength when it comes to you, but he can't. He's weak for you. And it's hard for him to cope with that. So he has to come to terms with that. The Griffin and the Gate. Um, honor and good luck. A barrier keeps you from your goals. Somebody out there, you are on your way to great luck, okay? And something is holding you back. Okay? Something is holding you back. Okay? Okay, you listen. Two of Cups, Three of Cups, The Chariot, Seven of Cups. Um, you partying, two of cups, three of cups, the chariot, you partying, you doing you, you're living your dreams, but they're, they're not high frequency enough. Somebody is partying when they should be working. 
tell you the truth. You got dreams that you want, and instead of pursuing them, you 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 sitting up here partying, and that's what's killing your dream. You spending too much time in your relationship, kicking it with the other people you talk to, <laughs> okay? And thinking of this is like I'm living the dream, I'm having the time, I'm kicking it. Ah, uh, uh, that's gonna kill your dreams because you're allowing your vices to get control of you, and it's affecting your ability to start a business. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Somebody to start a business, and you out here playing games instead of working hard. You need to transition and put your love and energy. Okay, six of swords, king of cups, energy. You need to put your love and sensitivity and energy into something else because right now you're on your way. To, to misery, nine of swords. You're going to be hurt and upset in just a minute because you're not going to manifest anything by sitting around spending all your time being a lover man, okay? It's not going to do nothing for you. You need to put some of your energy back into finances, money, saving money, etc. Okay, nine of wands. Nine of wands. So you're sitting here now. Um, you might have took a, just took a hit to this business, Okay. You took some type of hit to this business because you were too focused on somebody else. I'm really getting the vibe. This is a masculine energy. You've been sitting around focused on women too much, and it's, it's now it's affecting and, and sex, and now it's affecting your um, it's affecting your your actual financial forecast. And I'm gonna tell you something. Some of y'all, this is a man that you know. Please tell this man, give him some sharp words, Queen of Swords. Let him know he needs to get off his ass. Um, and think about the future and start making some plans to a wines and start putting some money in the bank, Knight of Pentacles, even if it's a small amount. Because right now he's looking like a damn fool. We see the fool card energy. This man is out here partying. Him, him messing around and his phone going to be cut off tomorrow while he out here partying. Instead of spending the time with his finances and his plans and his business idea. Okay, like he really is supposed to do. That is what spirit has for him to do right now. Um, the other day, I was told, I, I put in a reading that went up yesterday when I did a reading about um, this scripture that is one that everybody's supposed to be meditating on. I need y'all, I'm going to meditate on it. I don't know what y'all going to do, okay? Okay, but I'm going to meditate on it because it did come up in one of my readings. And it is that I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry, Psalm 40 and 1. So I'm just reminding everybody of the of Psalm 40 and 1, which did come up on the board for us the other night. Okay, Psalms 40 and 1. Very powerful. And I have been keeping my, my energy fixed on it. I don't know about y'all. Okay. Um, so we see the K coming out, okay? Pay attention to your health. Somebody pay attention to your health. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. Pay attention to your health. Also be advised there is a karmic energy that's sitting back watching you that's hating and jealous. Um, so you might want to pay attention to your mental health. Somebody is back there in the back trying to be stressful. Some of y'all need to take a leap of faith. Okay, there's something on your mind. Once again, if somebody wants to take a trip, like a cruise or something, and maybe you've never traveled, go ahead and take that trip. Go ahead and travel. Go ahead and take that cruise. Okay, we see temperance energy coming through the building. Um, somebody out there needs to reach a compromise with somebody about some money. That is what I'm hearing. Somebody needs to reach a compromise and somebody needs to give advice to someone. Give advice to someone that you would, you, you're thinking, I shouldn't even tell them the right way to do it. Go ahead and tell them the right way to do it. Okay, abundance, okay, there is abundance um, that is coming to one of you, but you're too insecure. You're not realizing that it's coming, okay? You're thinking that it's not going to work for me. Yes, it is. Somebody is out there nervous. Yes, it is. And you're nervous and thinking that that abundance isn't coming to you because of your past experiences. You may have had a bad experience in the past and you feel like all I'm going to get is another bad experience, but you're not. You're not going to get a bad experience. Um, somebody, one of y'all needs to quit spying on somebody. Y'all are sitting up watching somebody's social media spying on them. And if you don't stop spying on them, some kind of way they're going to find out you're doing it and you're going to be embarrassed. Okay, ringing the bells. Okay, ring the bell to cast them out and dance about. Swirl the sounds and miss the winds. Nowhere to hide for all will ring. Um, this is about somebody out there, y'all. You need to clear your energy. That's what ringing a bell does. This is actually my witch bell. I do use it to um, play with y'all and do the whole, do the whole, you know, notification things and my judgment card. But this is actually my witch bell. Okay, you do use this when you want to clear the energy in the room. Okay, it is something that a bell is something that is very powerful spiritually. Bells, church bells, bells clear the air. They also announce things, they herald things, and sometimes I even listen to church bells. Church bells are amazing, FYI. Okay, somebody, 
self-care and sexuality you may even want to practice a little masturbation this is just true somebody out there that may be your form of self-love we just pull sexuality and self-care you also may want to take this approach to it because somebody out there is going out there you're having sex with whoever you may even be using hookup apps or something and you're just slinging your sexual energy out there and it is going to cost you it could be a sexually transmitted infection or just a spiritually transmitted infection and you would do better if you have these urges desperately and you cannot stop yourself you would do better in self-love i'm just telling you okay that's what's coming through cards okay somebody out there just be in gratitude maybe you're not that thankful for things be thankful sing and dance be thankful be happy be glad within a year from now everything will be different for you okay um, somebody has domestic happiness coming to them and you may also want to buy some honeysuckle, you know, get some honeysuckle around you, whether that's oil, um, get that smell and that scent around you to bring happiness to your domestic situation. Okay. Tuberose. Y'all love tuberose. It's like one of my favorite scents. Tuberose, dangerous pleasure. However, some of y'all is flying a little too close to the sun with y'all pleasure. We did just see that a moment ago. Okay. Gloxinia, love at first sight. Okay. And proud spirit. Some of y'all are in love with a masculine that's very prideful. I actually feel like we just read that a few minutes ago. Some of y'all in love with a masculine that's very prideful. Okay, um, you know, and that's just what it is. Um, that masculine may be on his way through divorce with the fire sign woman, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Um, and he is going to come into the light with you very soon. However, he's not going to talk to you about it because he is very prideful. Okay, um, Mayot, we see fairness. Please seek fairness and balance and clear yourself again. Make sure y'all are clearing y'all energy that may be with a bell and sage, um, spiritual bath. You know, um, Palo Santo, you know, there, there are plenty of different herbs that can be used for that, okay? Some of y'all have some beautiful things coming to you in the month of August. Take care of yourself or you will have a loss of material wealth. Keep an abundance mindset or you're going to lose something. Some of y'all, y'all don't realize you're losing things because you're not willing to go out for anything because you have a lack mindset that is telling you if you go out for it, you're not going to get blessed. But you will get blessed and you should go out for it, okay? There's opportunity out there for you. Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. Psalm 33 and 22. Somebody needs to meditate on that. God keeps an eye on his friends. His ears pick up every moan and groan. Psalm 34 and 15. Somebody needs to hear that. God will generously provide all you need. 2 Corinthians 9 and 8. Star, guaranteed success. I keep telling y'all, some of y'all got your head down and you don't have any reason to. This is the God of comedic goddess Hathor. Okay, Hathor is very big and feminine energy. Okay, and receptivity. Get in your high priestess energy. Fall back, be passive, and allow the universe to bring goodwill and things to you. You're going to be shocked at how gentle the universe is about to be with you. Okay? Pay attention to your sacral chakra. Some of you, you're eating the wrong foods and it's showing in your face. That's literally what I'm hearing. Um, one thing that I'm being led to say is sugar face. Some of y'all don't realize when you eat a lot of sugar... It changes your face, like your skin is not going to look as supple and good. I just felt like I should throw that out there. Base chakra. Choose only positive thoughts to describe your home career. What did I just say? Some of y'all are just not speaking right and believing right. Speak and believe it. Okay? Cycles. Fate. Karma. Something ending. Something beginning. Some of y'all, y'all finna end a phase and you're very scared. I'm, I'm seeing terror about the phase that's ending. Don't be afraid because the phase is coming is better. Cut your cord. Some of y'all know damn well it's some people and even items in your home. Okay? There are even items in your home that you know you need to get rid of. Go on, get that stuff up out of there. If you have enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, please go ahead and like, share, subscribe, okay? Hit the bell if you want to be here whenever me and the tea team are here. Get to it in. I am going to remind y'all just once more. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. Psalm 40 and 1. And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one.